Joining me here at the NYSE, as he will every Tuesday and Thursday, Kenny Polcari, Managing Director at ICAP. Welcome, Kenny. Good to see you with us. Good to see you. You know, I'm sick of talking about Europe. I know we have to. I know I can't afford to be sick of it. Right. But let's start by talking about two things that are looming. One is the end of the quarter and possible window dressing. Right. How do I play that? I think you have to be, you know, I, I suspect that what we're going to see is a push higher into the end of the into the end of the month, right? Because it's not only the month, but it is the quarter. So you've got a lot of um, uh, portfolio managers that want to dress it up and look the best that they can when the statements go out. So don't be surprised if you see this push higher in some of the, certainly the better performing You want to fade right? that rally? You want to sell I, it? I will. Uh, yeah. I do because, you know, long, for me, I think we're going to be weaker into the summer, and I think that's a position you have to take. As a long-term investor, though, I think you have to, you know, pick your spots because in the weakness is when you should start the We've to started work. to see some earnings warnings. Uh, last week, I believe uh, the one that sticks out to me was uh, Procter & Gamble. Right. Uh, we're going to start getting earnings uh, next week, week after. I think we've already had 50 or 55 pre-announcements, which have all been below the analyst estimates, and you've seen what they've done when they come out. They kill the stock ahead of it, and now next week, when they are two weeks from now, when they actually announce their numbers, the numbers will have been revised lower. They'll beat that new number, and everyone will say, look at how great it is. I think investors are warming up to that, though, and understand that this is the game that's played, so they're not going to get so sucked into it yet, because the, envi the, the total environment is much, is still very negative. Thursday's a big uh, Euro Day. It's also a big health care day in this country, so right. we'll be watching that. But what interests me a hell of a lot more is your morning note. You include <laughs> a recipe. What is today's recipe? Today's risotto with fresh fava beans and pancetta because, you know, there's something about finance and food, right? Finance can be so unnerving. Yep. Food can be so comforting. So I combine the two every day in my morning note. And so today I gave you a risotto. And I am a new subscriber, <laughs> so that's good. Kenny, great to be with you, man. All right.